Hello guys, welcome back to the video. So today we're going to be going over the new Roblox Islands update, what is huge. So this is the Christmas update, but in this video, I'm going to be showing you everything to include it in this update. So let's get straight into this video. The first thing, what is not the big, is the ATMs here. So if you go to your workbench, you should be able to type ATM and you should see you can craft a steel ATM, a gold ATM, or a diamond ATM. So I have the diamond one placed here and you must be wondering, what is this ATM do? So basically, it lets you access your bank wherever you are on your island. So you don't have to go to the hub anymore to be able to access it. So you can just open it and you can take out the money if you wanted to. So it is really handy. So that is all about the ATMs. So the next thing is they have added the Christmas presents back, but they're round like this and they are orange. So if you mine it, you get in the inventory and you should hold click to be able to open it. So let me quickly open it and you should be able to get some of these plushies so let me quickly tell you the drops from them so you can get a santa plushie a golem a elf a penguin a reindeer a white reindeer a candy cane a white reindeer a candy cane skepta weapon and a christmas event 2022 trophy and penguin pet egg. So the penguin looks like this right here, but yeah, that's what you can get out of those presents. By the way, none of this, none of these items are actually tradable right now. So maybe the ATM might be tradable and maybe the plushies, but pretty much nothing else like the weapon or the trophy or the penguin pet will not be tradable until the end of the update. So when the update finishes in three weeks time, so there's going to be multiple parts of this update. So there's going to be part two of the Christmas update next week and so on so on so on now we're going to go straight to the hub for the next part so I recommend you to be in a public server for this one because you need to be in a public server to be able to do this alrighty so let's just go over the basics first they have redone the whole Christmas lobby so it is all being redone and actually looks really cool but there is this new area so basically we are going to have to do is get over that area is follow this path so turn left at the Christmas tree, follow this path, go all the way down and go back here all the way to this little area where the Halloween event was. So if we go over there, so we're in like this little village where there are these little evil looking gingerbread men and if you kill them, they will give you these little snowflake tickets. So let me just quickly kill one. I use the serpent spin because it one taps them, but you can kill them and it gave me five snowflake tickets. So you can kill these. This is just like those little candle spiders what we're in the Halloween event and basically there's this new NPC right here so you can go view shop so you can, basically what you can do in this NPC is buy these Christmas presents for 450 tokens they have nine variants of gnomes right here where you can buy with the tokens or tickets I mean and then you have five variants of the wall stockings and then candy cane fences is two variances at the bottom so one with lights and one without lights and then you must be wondering what is Q match. So if you click event info, it will tell you all about this. So you can queue up with another four people with you. So you must be wondering, how do you queue up with each other? Like you can't queue up with each other. Well, they added a new thing. So they added like the Bedwars party system. So you can invite anyone in the lobby and they can queue up with you and you can queue. But basically there is 10 people in the match. There's five people on each side and it is a snowball fine. You will learn to go around, collect these presents to get you like a uh, boost and stuff. And they only last for like usually they're around 15 seconds but you can get longer ones so there's like speed boosts and other things to help you if you hover over it it will tell you on what it actually does what is pretty cool then you if you run out of snowballs because you're spawned with like 30 snowballs you can go around the map and they should be some placed on the ground if you walk into it it will give you snowballs and you should be able to equip 40 at max and yeah you can once you have got 30 kills your whole team so if you've killed the other people 30 times you will win and you'll get around 200 of these snowflake tickets so that is how you can do that so we're gonna quickly queue up to this and I'll show you on how it actually works okay as you can 
can see where you're in, um, and you, it's best to queue up with some of your friends, or just some good people you know how to play or something, and just collect these presents, as you can see, I just got this one, I don't know how to pronounce that, but, and it depends on what their level is, the higher level you are, the more health you have, but you can get these boosts, so I have healer now, what so will help me a ton, and I have a speed multiplier, and now I have this thing, what will throw them a lot faster, so I can hit my projectiles. But basically, you just have to kill them. And once your team has got all the way up to 30 kills, you will win. So it is quite hard to win when you're like without someone, but you should be able to win quite easily. But yeah, if you hold tab, you can actually pull up a leaderboard and see who has the most kills. So I have the most kills on my team uh, with eight. And yeah, you do get tokens if you do lose. So you can just click play again as well and just yeah, so you can win or lose and you'll get tokens, so it's pretty good. So yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. That's pretty much everything in this update. There's a uh, minor changes like carrot prices have gone up and onion prices have gone down, but that's pretty much it in this update. So I hope you did enjoy this video. So go check this update out for yourselves and I'll see you next video or live stream YouTube. And now goodbye YouTube.